Well, liberals call it the trans movement, but a more appropriate description is the trans madness. Like day after day, we provide the way too many examples of the various aspects of our lives that this craziest has actually poisoned. One of the most prominent aspects obviously involves athletics, where biological males are allowed to do completely d dominate these competitions against females. But in my home state of Connecticut, a courageous quartet of females are fighting back. A lawsuit has been filed by four track and field athletes led by 20-year-old Chelsea Mitchell against two governing bodies of Connecticut schools and athletics. Now, seeking to overturn a policy which allowed transgender athletes to compete in alliance with their gender identity as opposed to their biological makeup. Two of those athletes named as plaintiffs in the lawsuit join me now, Alana Smith and Selena Soul. They have joined, obviously, by their legal counsel, Christiane Kiefer from Alliance Defending Freedom. All right, so, I, Alana, I want to ask you first. You run against a biological male, and they, everybody on the left or in the school district, let's just say, in this case, thinks that's fine? Yes, and it was really frustrating, especially, I mean, we're becoming sidelined in our own sports, and we put in so much work just to shave off seconds, and it wasn't paying off because these biological males were taking the spots that we deserved. Yeah, well, Selena, this is another thing where there is, look, and anybody can tell this, my, my, my infant at home can tell this, that there is a difference between males and females. And when they dominate whatever fields, whether it be Leah Thomas in swimming, weightlifting, wrestling, whatever you put male, you know, biological males in, they usually win or at least do far better than they did in their male sports. How is this so hard for people to see as a rational concept? It's very devastating that there are girls out there who are being forced to, to compete against biological males, just like I was all throughout high school. And I started speaking out on this in 2018, and I warned everybody that this was going to become a bigger issue. But I'm very encouraged that we ended up filing a lawsuit, and then there are states out there that are deciding to take a stand to protect women's sports. Yeah. I, I hope so. But, uh, Christiana, you're representing, obviously, these these young ladies, and, and we appreciate that. But what are the odds that in a place like Connecticut you're going to get, A, a fair trial, and, B, actually see some of these policies overturned? <laughs> well, after yesterday's court hearing, we're very optimistic that we will be able to, the girls will have their day in court, will be able to make their full case under Title IX because Connecticut's gender identity policy clearly violates federal law. Uh, there's no rational way that you can allow biological males to come in and dominate women's sports and for that to be okay under Title IX. So we are ultimately optimistic that we will win this. Well, let's stay with you on this one real quick because you're, you're speaking extremely logically, which resonates with everybody who watches this channel. However, there's a bunch of zealots, let's say, in, in, in these educational positions, and they don't listen to court cases. They just do whatever they want. How are you going to force their hand? Well, biological reality is against them. Mm -hmm. Truth is on our side. And ultimately, we expect that the court will uphold biological reality and common sense and restore fairness and a level playing field to women's sports. If we don't, girls like Alana and Selena will continue to be eliminated from their podium, denied spots on the roster, championship titles, and even potential scholarship opportunities. The American people don't want that. Yeah. Uh, Alana, you, I'm, I'm sure you've had a chance to speak with some of these transgender athletes. Like, what do you say to them to their face? I haven't spoken to any of the transgender athletes, but I hope that they know it's all about fairness and that everyone deserves um, to play the sport that they love. But it's all about finding where it's most fair and it's not fair for them to compete in the female category. S Selena, have you a chance, had a chance to confront any of these people? No, I have not. And just as Alana, we believe that everybody has the right to participate in sports. It just needs to be done where it's most fair to everybody involved. And that means protecting the female category and ensuring that only girls are in girls' sports. Yeah, I mean, it seems, it seems easy. Uh, Christiana, last question to you. Um, you know, what do you expect to come out of this? Do you expect to win on the first round? Is there any indication of, of not winning in your uh, ruling in your favor? Well, we felt like the court hearing yesterday went very well. The court asked great questions of both sides, but certainly seemed to give the other side a harder time. So we're optimistic. And again, the law and truth and biological reality are on our side. And so we are ultimately optimistic that we'll win this one. Yeah, ladies, keep fighting. We're proud of you.